Chase and Balleen Trang are about runic Scottish thistles I use sirens, Emily Nicholl. Ach, have you guys got doys in the yellow? Yeah, it's probably been one of the busiest netball years that I've probably ever had. Um, so obviously we had our siding season from about February to June. Um, so that's obviously really intense and, you know, we're battling out with the top teams in the UK. Um, but then what was really exciting this year was how many Thistles opportunities we've had. So went to the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham for the, with the Scottish team. So that was five games in seven days, I think. And then quickly off the back of that, um, we had World Cup qualifiers um, for Scotland. So that was five games in five days. So thankfully we did the job and uh, qualified for World Cup. And then very quickly, within a few weeks, we then went out to South Africa just recently um, for two weeks to compete in the Diamond Challenge, which again was five games in seven days. Um, so it's been effectively three worth, three Commonwealth Games worth of, of games this year, which has been absolutely amazing to get that exposure. But uh, yeah, really, really busy. Ha Emily and I'm Pierce Australia and Rasta. Like Corum early, training I use Clue called Recoach in the Clue in Bali Nashar. Yeah, so I first heard about this opportunity to be in Australia in February. Um, Karen Atkinson, who um, heads up um, Netball Scotland and oversees kind of sirens and thistles, um, called me up to let me know that they wanted to push some players to get exposure in higher levels, like higher standard of the game to basically drive our game back home. Um, unfortunately, I was one of the athletes selected. So um, from South Africa, I've flown over to Perth in Australia um, and I'm getting to train with the West Coast Fever who actually won the Suncorp Super Netball competition in Australia last year. So effectively, they're the best like um, club team in the world. So it's amazing and a dream come true really to be out here and getting to be with the girls day in, day out and live their life. Ha Emily Gadjachuk, nor a hurry mach mun korum kluich an Australian hoshok. Good oi tori e toshtis jach. Um, so I kind of was shocked when she initially told me, and then the immediate reaction was just to cry. Um, and my mum, honest, I went through to tell my mum, and she was just like, "What's wrong? What's wrong?" And I was like, "Oh, my dreams are coming true." So yeah, it was a pretty much a fairy tale moment when I initially found out, but I had to like basically keep it quiet for months and months and months, and it was only in. October after World Cup qualifiers had finished that I found out my flights had been booked um, so I hadn't really allowed myself to think that it was really going to happen because I would have been devastated had it not happened um, and then again it was quite difficult because I had come um, the South Africa tour uh, first so I had to focus on those games and then it was only really when I waved bye to the team in the airport um, and I realised it was just me and I was heading to Australia that it all kind of really set in and I think actually when I was singing the national anthem for the last time in South Africa like I just took a moment to really appreciate how amazing this is like I'm playing for my country I'm about to go to Australia I'm like to train with these girls that I really have like achieved what I've set out to achieve it was just a really surreal moment and uh, yeah, I really just took a moment to just appreciate what I've done, which was really cool. Ha Emily or son of Hula Kala, you and I see on Piast, or should Rash can skip at Ike Sirens? Because could you hug Ere again with a horse at Earth and an Alaba? Yeah, so I'm the first player to get this opportunity, so that in itself is momentous and something I'm really honoured to have. But these girls that make up the SSM teams, you know, they it's the best league in the world. So by exposing thistles to that environment, you know, it's going to I can go back to my science environment and my thistles environment and try and take some of the concepts back that they do just even the intensity the standards of training the way of life like these girls are full-time netballers which we don't have the luxury of that within Scotland so it's really I'm trying to get to grips I'm trying to chat to all the players the SNC coaches just really find out what's their system how does it work you know what does what does the week look like for them do they have more training than we do or what's the intensity like and just how do they drive such high standards um so that I can really take that home and try and encourage this pattern to continue within Scotland so that we can really drive our standards uh, up. Bal Lee and the Halibut are from the Clifton and Achter Lesserhood. I just can cut you hold of your massive surrounding IVV. A Corman Marat Shaw is Janu Toy and Amasaka. Yeah, I mean, it's really, really cool that I'm out here, and I think it's something that Netball Scotland are going to try and drive and encourage more players to get the opportunity to do this. And, you know, I would jump at the opportunity again already, like I've absolutely loved it. And I just think, you know, it's it's a really new way of thinking. And I think, obviously, it's now gone public that I'm out here. And so many people have really been like, wow, this is such a great initiative. And 
you know, you think about even a loads of girls in the England team, like they're obviously competing at a really high standard, but they've never even been exposed to a Suncorp environment. So the fact that I'm getting this opportunity is really, really small. Like not many people get such an opportunity to do this, especially someone from Scotland. So yeah, it's amazing from West Coast Fever, first of all, to well be willing to have me in the environment. And then it's just really, really cool that Netball Scotland have actually started to think like this and really push the boundaries and think, how can we make better? Because like I totally believe that we are on a pathway to great things within Scotland and it's really cool that those higher up are also got the same mindset. Ha beha Pauline Emily and in Australia Mar Ashling. I guess can there any critching gonna show a beha. She wrote the how nach Jachni Higabrag. Well, even current Emily can't believe that I'm doing this. Um, and I am like everybody knows across the netball world that I am such a netball geek. Um so yeah, just the fact like from a fan perspective, as a younger Emily, like I I've obsessed over the SSA and I watch every single minute of it. Like I never miss a game. I know every single netball that there is to know basically. So from a fan perspective, like I it's such a pinching moment. Like I genuinely can't believe that I'm here and I'm really just trying to embrace it all and record it all. But I just would also be super proud of myself that I've been brave enough to come out here myself and just throw myself into the environment. Um, because obviously it is super daunting that these girls are the best, but I'm just really trying to tell myself that you know I deserve this opportunity and just own it and take everything with two hands and because you only get this short one so might as well make the most of it.